See ya. Jim's buying beer. Alright folks, we're on the Husqvarna 501 and it's done up in a supermoto style and this is a peppy little light machine. This thing, uh, this thing weighs like, like 200 and something pounds and it has like 50 horsepower so it's like half the weight of my bike but like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe more torque and more, a little more horsepower. So this is a rad bike. I'm going to ride it for a little while. I'm going to ride it back to the East Siders uh, uh, clubhouse. And uh, yeah, <laughs> more beer logistic problems. <laughs> Woo, it's got good brakes. The levers aren't really adjusted for me, but Oh, the suspension feels good. There's my bike. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Is my GoPro recording? Is my GoPro on? Yeah. Okay. It's bugging you? <laughs> it is all sloppy, yeah, I know. And I can't get a I can't get a shim in there. Like I tried to put a shim in there and I it won't fit, so I don't know. I may play with it more. It's just it's a cheap lever. I know, huh? Here's a look at the bike. You guys have seen this before in my video, so it's got a fat tire on the back. Like I said, Supermoto setup. And uh, yeah, it's a little ripper. Feels really good. It's just awkward to get on window kickstand. That's cool. So people are splitting up? Yeah. People are splitting up? Uh, Bridget's taking everybody to my place, and then we're just going to go down and Reese so you can feel the bike. In the oh, okay. Corners. All right. Okay. Has some really nice grippy uh, pegs, and uh, you know it's it's a dirt bike, you know, but it's super motored out. It's a little buzzy. Um, but it's cool. It's got wide handlebars. I like that. So we'll see. We're gonna hit a little twisties. See what this thing can do. Gearbox feels good. It's feels really close. Alright, I'm on the right 
track now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this has got some power. All right, guys, I'm doing a little voice over here. Um, I wasn't doing much talking during this. I was trying to, you know, stay focused and pay attention. This was the first time I was on this bike, and it was, it was, uh, you know, a lot different than, than what I'm used to riding. Um, but just, you know, a handful of fun, just totally a handful of fun. So a couple things I wanted to hit on with this bike is the suspension feels really good um, for it being, you know, built as more of an off-road type of bike. The suspension was pretty good. On the street i probably would have maybe liked it a little bit firmer um especially in the front because it felt like the front was a lot softer than the rear but again you know it's, it's not my bike or whatever so and you can see here too the adjusters are kind of up the levers are are kind of high too so that was a little little wonky for me too but um so yeah and then so going into like let's talk about the brakes for a minute the brakes are superb i believe it's full brimbo setup um they were on point uh, especially with those grippy tires they felt really good um, so no complaints there um, the power and the power delivery um, all that was was really nice uh, this bike has a lot of grunt and um, you know so when you get on it it goes and a lot of that is you know with the lightweight so it's a really small package like I said um, so there's mixed reports on the weight um, and I know I listed earlier that it weighs about 250 pounds. That's reported by Cycle Gear. Uh, the owner of this bike feels that it weighs more, maybe closer to 300 pounds, all, you know, fully ready to go. But I've also heard from other people that it may be in the 230 range dry. So um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen anybody weigh one of these bikes. Let me know. And then again, you know, this has different wheels on it with different tires. So I don't know if that's going to make it heavier or lighter or maybe it doesn't change I don't know you know so there's that so I would say something I didn't like about this bike um, well maybe a couple let's say okay so the tall seat height but it's it's a dirt bike type of bike so um, that's a given it's gonna have the higher ground clearance and allow you to go up and down curbs or whatever and off obstacles and jump it and everything so that's just something you're gonna have to deal with um, and you know there's no wind protection but again that's just just this part of the deal with this type of bike um let's see the other thing okay so this is i guess it's it's kind of hard to explain but one of the other guys that rode this bike kind of felt the same and it could be contributed to the lightweight of the bike and or the suspension setup um the guy who owns this bike he's bigger than me and weighs more than me i weigh about a buck 50 or so and so the suspension probably could have been finer tuned to my liking but in the corners the bike felt a little twitchy and um you know i'm coming off a heavier 
adventure type bike with a 19 inch front wheel so i'm used to having to you know pull that bike down and and get into the corner and whatnot but with this bike you just think about turning and it drops over and then when you're leaned over like you just barely move anything or move your body or anything and it just wants to go and turn and, and change directions or or do whatever you think you're trying to do it's going to do it like right now and so it made it feel almost like a little like you can say a little twitchy so um you know there's that i guess not too many complaints oh and the fact that it doesn't have a kickstand i don't know if it comes that way from the factory or if you took it off or what but um not having a kickstand so you have to put it up against a pole or a building or something if you stop but you know it's not the biggest deal this is the s model you guys so it comes uh, street legal <laughs> but i don't even think they come with turn signals it comes with a license plate bracket and a brake light and i don't even know if it comes with a headlight to tell you the truth so he's got a custom led light on here it's pretty bright i think it's mounted to the front fender so um but yeah this was a this was a fun experience these husqvarna's are awesome machines i've i've ridden the 701 the, actually the 701 that's in front of us in this video um i've ridden that one and that's a beast too so and this is like a smaller version of that bike obviously they're really close in price range and if i were going to buy one i would go with the 701 it's only about 500 to 700 dollars more and i feel that you're getting a lot more bike it's a more stable platform and you're getting a little more power and probably a little higher top speed and all that good stuff so and a kickstand <laughs> but again these are tall bikes and you know they're they're a little they're, they're different you know they're different but they're really really well built high performance motorcycles you know like i said they're full brembo brakes and you're getting a lot of power out of the bike you know it's basically a ktm so and you know ktms are on that higher performance level so i don't know just thought i would give my opinion about this bike and tell you guys about it i might be riding the dirt version of this at some point in time uh, i've talked about it. i've talked about it with the owners of that bike and i so i can go ride that ride that on like some fields and some dirt and just give you guys my opinion on that and it has the big 21 inch tires and the 19 or 18 or whatever on the back with the dirt dirt uh tires knobbies or whatever so i don't know maybe stay tuned for some episodes coming up like that but um i guess that's going to do it on this episode guys so until next time oregon motorcycle